One of the great things about this segment is I can ask rhetorical questions that I already know an answer to just to make a point. But other times I can ask questions I have no clue what the answer is. And here goes one of those. Why do fans hate coaches who leave a program when they're successful? In fact, in 25 years of covering teams in the area, I swear, fans seem to hate a coach for leaving more when they're winning than they do hating a coach for losing. Case in point, Washington State. Safe to say right now more people hate Tony Bennett for leaving the Cougar basketball program on top than Bill Doba and what happened to Cougar football under his watch. Want to start a fight between Vandal fans and Cougar fans? Ask them who hates Dennis Erickson more. You'd better step back because the fists are going to fly. Gonzaga fans were upset when Dan Munson left Gonzaga after the Elite Eight run, but that turned out okay. Thank you, Mark Few. You can pick any team in any sport, and the good ones get killed by fans for leaving. There are still people who hate Mike Price for leaving the Cougars. The man took them to two Rose Bowls, and people are still mad. Are you kidding me? If my team got a ride out of a guy that took us from the bottom of the conference standings to the postseason, I'd love him. Much before the guy who took us from the postseason and drove us into the cellar, I'd hate that bum. I guess people are just upset when a good coach leaves because they're just not sure things will keep rolling. One more question. Does anyone still hate Marv Harshman for leaving Washington State to coach Husky basketball? Just wondering. If you'd like to chime in on this one, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me, are you kidding me, at 700ESPN.com. Questions, comments, and concerns to are you kidding me at 700ESPN.com.